The final charge coming out of Adam Schiff's committee was that of obstruction. And as this individual, Jonathan Turley, from George Washington School of Law testified, he said it's an abuse of power what they're thinking about. But listen to this other comment that he made here in talking about the matter of the obstruction of justice. I'd also caution you about obstruction. Obstruction is a crime also with meaning. It has elements. It has controlling case authority. The record does not establish obstruction in this case. That is, what my esteemed colleague said was certainly true. If you accept all of their presumptions, it would be obstruction. But impeachments have to be based on proof, not presumptions. That's the problem when you move towards impeachment on this abbreviated schedule that has not been explained to me. Why you want to set the record for the fastest impeachment. Fast is not good for impeachment. Narrow, fast impeachments have failed. Just ask Johnson. So the obstruction issue is an example of this problem. And here's my concern. The theory being put forward is that President Trump obstructed Congress by not turning over material requested by the committee. President Trump has gone to, Congress, to, to the courts. He's allowed to do that. We have three branches, not two. I happen to agree with some of your criticism about President Trump, including that earlier quote where my colleagues talked about his saying that I, there's this article too, and he gives this overriding interpretation. I share that criticism. You're doing the same thing with Article 1. You're saying Article 1 gives us complete authority that when we demand information from another branch, it must be turned over or we'll impeach you in record time. Now, making that worse is that you have such a short investigation. It's a perfect storm. You set an incredibly short period, demand a huge amount of information, and when the president goes to court, you then impeach him. Now, does that track with what you've heard about impeachment? Does that track with the rule of law that we talked about? I can't emphasize this enough, and I'll say it just one more time. If you impeach a president, if you make a high crime and misdemeanor out of going to the courts, it is an abuse of power. It's your abuse of power. You're doing precisely what you're criticizing the president for doing. We have a third branch that deals with conflicts of the other two branches. And what comes out of there and what you do with it is the very definition of legitimacy. Boy. David, I could not have summarized better than what that law professor did. Your comments on what he wrapped up in just those two minutes of commentary. If you have a legal right to do something, it's not obstruction of justice or Congress to do it. This is what Nancy Pelosi should have done. Listen carefully. What she should have done is she, with this phone call that nobody likes, including the Republicans, she should have filed a joint resolution of disapproval. Her strategy is to separate the president from the Democrats. All right, how do you do that? Impeachment, forget it. But if she had filed this joint resolution, a lot of Republicans in the House and the Senate would have voted for it. And that begins the separation process. But she didn't. And that brings nope, us back too to late, that, baby. But Dave, that brings us back to exactly what Jonathan said. Democrats, on what you have done on the matter of bribery, you have wrongly defined it. No one will support it. The Supreme Court has already ruled in a previous case that kind of broad application of interpretation they don't agree with. So, number one, you're down on that one. Strike one. Strike two, the destruction of justice, you're claiming the president didn't give you all that you wanted in the short time that you asked for, and that by going to the court for help, it was a proof that he was obstructing. He said he had exact right, exactly what you said. So he said, Strike two. So, David, I look at this as now the Judiciary Committee, when you're saying, what in the world are they going to actually put together as far as the articles are concerned? Neither one of them that came to them from the Schiff Committee are legitimate, as the professor said. Neither one are legitimate. they got a problem, don't they? I would think. Well, the public po opinion polls indicate that. They've lost interest, and they've already lost. Well, ladies and gentlemen, pay attention to all this. This is, again, this is not just a nuisance. This is an attempt by many elected positions of office and of lots of bureaucrats behind them 
who want to remove a duly elected president on, pardon the pun, trumped up charges that are not legitimate. This is a problem. This is a serious problem for which we need to pray.